the solution at right guard. They don't. They haven't found it. Like this is what happens. They do their one on ones, and Daniel Brunskill loses all of them, and then Colton McKivitz comes up and loses all of them, and you're like, and then Aaron Banks doesn't practice because he's hurt. So you're like, oh, oh, to me. I mean, I don't know if he's their best right guard because I haven't seen him play the position yet, but I'm guessing he's their best right guard. He's been playing left tackle starting, and now he's – it's Jalen Moore. Why not? They said they wanted to see him at guard when they drafted him. Uh, you could use him at guard now. You always talk about starting your best five on the offensive line. I got a sneaky suspicion that he's part of their best five. It sounds like a real Madden play, because I'll tell you this, when you play Madden, you just take the highest rated guys and plug and play wherever you want. Hell yeah. I know he hasn't gotten the reps and he may not yeah. be, but they still got three weeks, man. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, I, giving Daniel Brunskill all the reps ain't helping. No. No. No, it's it's not. And I actually like it, especially because Trent's back. Sounds like Coleman came back for, you know, who, whoever, however long. So that means they've got a swing tackle there. I like it. I think it's worth a shot because right now that right guard is so weak, Grant, and that it's too that's going to be a problem. It's going to yeah. be a real problem if they don't figure it out. And you're right. They got more. They talked about playing him at the guard position. The only question I have now is, and this is very hard to do for a player to go from the left side of the line to the right, and then you're also switching positions. I don't know if three weeks is enough to get him up to speed. Yeah, don't know, but they got to figure it out because here's the situation at right guard. Um, Daniel Brunskill isn't demonstrably better than Colton McKivitz right now. That's the problem. Yeah. And Colton McKivitz isn't demonstrably better than he was last year. No. So I don't know if Daniel Brunskill's gotten worse or he might have gotten worse. I don't know. He ain't getting better. And um, Banks wasn't good and he's not healthy. Nope. So if they don't do this by week one, they may, they, look, they may need to start cross training him over there now because if he's not ready by week one, you may need him week two. Yeah, like you could lose week one because of Daniel Brunskill in the right guard position, so you might as well want someone ready week two. They might want to start thinking. That. Hey, look, I know I didn't call this a quality control session. Maybe Kyle isn't <laughs> watching, but Kyle, if you're watching, give it a look, man, because you're. I don't. I don't know. Maybe he thinks right guard won't ruin a game for him, but it, I mean, you could argue that it kind of ruined the Super Bowl for him. So, you might want to take a look, dude. Well, He's been not only left that, tackle. that's good. Not only that, but could you imagine? McGlinchey going through another year with no stability over there. Like, what's that going to do to his psyche? That's not good. Like, that yeah, whole right side is already fragile enough. Bummed. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm going to ride Mike McGlinchey until he goes to a Pro Bowl. I'm going to, I want, I want to, look, Mike, I'm going to still be hard on you. Okay. Because you need to go. You're, you're the, not, you're the ninth pick. You were, you were drafted way ahead of Joe Staley. Joe Staley was a late one. You were a top 10 pick. Yep. You need to go to the Pro Bowl this year. So when I call you out for not playing in a Pro Bowl level, it's all love, baby. Just know. It's all love. And you need it. It's best for you. It's what you need. I didn't do that to Joe Staley because that dude was just a perennial Pro Bowler and he was above it. But you're not. And once you get there, I'll get off your back. I feel like we can work together on this one. Sorry, I just needed to talk directly to Mike for a second. How does McGlinchey look? I haven't heard a lot about him. Same old? I'm not does he look at least a it. little better than last year? He looks a little something. bigger than last year, but okay. I'm starting to feel like <sighs> I know he has some good reps against the Chargers, so let's leave it at that. Uh, he's okay. had some bad days in practice, but it's practice. It's okay. practice.